Who can that be? Blood is a first-person horror shooter developed by Monolith Software and published by GT Interactive. The game was released for DOS on May 31st, 1997. There were two expansion packs, Plasma Pack and Cryptic Passage. While I do own both expansions, Cryptic Passage doesn't seem to work. But then again, you're not missing much. The story follows Caleb, a former member of the Cabal, on his quest for vengeance when his former master, Chernobog, disavowed him and his fellow followers Ophelia, Gabriel, and Ishmael. To make matters worse, Ophelia gets captured by Chio, Gabriel is taken away by Sheol, and Ishmael is burned alive by Cerberus, while Caleb is sent to a hollow grave. Boy, talk about being disavowed. I'm surprised that Chernobog didn't kill Caleb, but then again, there would be no blood game to review. The game is broken down into four episodes, with the first being released as shareware. The gameplay remains the same as in other shooters like Doom and Wolfenstein 3D, but Blood does offer a few unique concepts. For starter, each weapon has two firing modes, a primary and alternate. Which works better is up to the player. Most games can thank Blood for a primary and alternate firing modes. Another unique feature is puzzle solving. While not overly complex, at least this kind of got puzzle solving into first person shooters. So maybe Blood didn't break any new ground, but at least he gets points for trying. Considering this is a horror game, the enemies, no surprise, are horror-based. From zombies to cultists, the enemies couldn't be any more cliché. But at least they fit the game nicely. If there's one thing that this game's got going for it, it's blood. Lots of blood. Isn't that bloody good? Okay, lame joke aside, this game is great fun. Killing your foes with weird and unique weapons doesn't get old. From flare gun to tesla cannon to aerosol, there's no uncreative way to kill enemies. The controls are a little slippery, and this can be a problem in later episodes where you jump to higher grounds more frequently. Is Caleb an ice skates or something? He does slide a little bit when he stops moving. Realism is one thing, but missing a jump is another. Speaking of controls, they can be customized to use mouse aim as seen in today's first-person shooters. It takes a little tinkering but it's worth it. The graphics are both dark and well done. It fits the game's atmosphere very nicely. The enemies themselves also look good, and there's a lot to kill. The levels themselves are also well done, but it might be a little too linear for some people. Just like most shooters at the time, there's a boss at the end of the last level in each episode. Speaking of bosses, Chiog and Xiao do appear as enemies in later episodes. While it does seem a little weird that you're re-killing a boss, at least they're much easier to deal with. The music comes in two forms, MIDI and CD audio. MIDI is like most music in first-person shooters and it loops, while CD audio doesn't. because the CD audio soundtrack is really good. And Caleb's voice is also well done. Nevermore. Open for business. I got time to play with you. Oh, shake it, baby. Overall, this is a bloody good game. It gets four zombie heads out of five.